even in this bill dealing with hormonal contraceptives, that we could have some stronger language involved to protect um, the life of the unborn. And again, I do realize that this legislation in and of itself, that's not a topic. But due to the times in which we live and the Supreme Court ruling and what some other states are doing to bring back Roe v. Wade in a different form and under a different name, I'm very trepidatious to open the doors to the possibility that any legislation could involve the uh, murder of a child in the womb. I want to make sure that we do protect the infant in the womb should a uh, should this bill become a trigger bill if Roe v. Wade in a different form comes back through initiative petition, um, I want to make sure that this amendment is strong enough, and maybe we can have a discussion on that, to protect what could be uh, happening in the future that has nothing to do with the current legislation. This legislation does not uh, cover that or talk about it, but in the strange times in which we live, uh, something could be coming back that is no longer in the Missouri Constitution. So um, I'd just like to really prayerfully consider this amendment and wonder if it is strong enough should this piece of legislation be a uh, Trojan horse, so to speak, um, with what's happening in the current political sphere.